Hello there. Um, today I'd like to demonstrate a few um, indicators and CBOTs that Spotware have published recently. I'm going to start with the economic news chart events. So you can download it from our website. You can download it from the Spotware um, CTDN website. Um, if you come here, you can just download the indicator. It comes complete with source code because Spotware provide that. And if you scroll down here, it gives you more information of how to actually use the indicator, how to install it, where to get the full source code for and use Visual Studio and and so forth so what i'm going to do now is go straight ahead and uh, give you a demo of the product so if you do want to download it like i said you can go to the uh, ctrader website or come to our website just type in upon the search box here economic news chart events or at the bottom of this youtube channel i'm actually going to put a link so you can actually just click on it and actually come to this page to download it so just go through the instructions to buy and check out and you'll be able to get the indicator okay so i'm going to go straight in now and show you ctrader and give you a demonstration of how to use it now, once you've downloaded it from um, Spotware or from us, and you've actually um, double clicked on the file to install it, once it's installed onto CTrader, all you need to do is to go to any chart. So here I'm just showing a chart for EuroUSD. Um, I've got the default template, and I'll show you templates in a minute. Um, if you double tap the keyboard or single tap, I'll close that. If I do it again, if I tap the keyboard, it says search for everything. So if I put an economic, okay, it's come up with economic chart events. Click on that. Now, these are the settings that you can use for the indicator. I'm going to come back and show you this in a minute because it will make sense um, because what will happen is when you click OK, you might, if you're new to CTrader, you might wonder how to actually get back to your settings to make the changes. Now, if I click OK, the first thing you'll see is these yellow lines. Now, these yellow lines, I think, are medium sort of um, news events that have happened in the past, and the red lines are the actual high-impact news events. So it does show you historical news events that have happened in the past, and here you can see in this line here, um, just here, you can see that it's actually um, the current candle that's being formed. And you've got a few news events that are coming up. Now, if you hover your mice, mouse, so yeah, the mouse over any of these lines, at the bottom, it's going to tell you what the actual news event is. So on the red one, the most upcoming one, it says the core PC price index. It's a high um, news event, a high, a high impact news event. And it's got the forecast 0.4%, the previous was 0.2, and what time this news event is going to happen. I'm going to go back now and show you the indicator settings and show you how to actually modify and change it. So to do that, there's a few options. Um, I'm just going to go to right click on the screen. I'm going to go to indicators, not indicators, object manager, click on the indicators. Now that's going to come up with this window here. Um, let's just, sorry, let's just bounce to my uh, format of the screen. If you click on there where it says settings, that come up with the settings window. Now on the settings window where it's got data URI, ignore that. That's just where it gets the news events on the fly. Um, only symbol events. If you select yes to that, it will actually only show events for this symbol that's being shown. So it's only going to show you news events for EuroUSD. If you select no, it will show you all news events. Okay. And you've got high impact, medium impact, and low impact. Now you can change the type of lines that's being displayed. So what I'm going to do now is just close this again. I'm actually going to change the, tart, the chart template to um, white. Okay, so this is how I prefer to see it on a chart. It's just a white template. Now the colors of the outlines don't look so good on here. So you might want to change them. So again, I'm going to right click, go to um, object manager. Um, again, the indicator has been taken off this because I've changed the template. So the indicator has automatically been taken off, but you've still got your drawing objects on there. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove all drawing objects, select yes. Now it's completely cleared it. So that's good to know that if you actually change the template and um, the drawing object will be removed, you need to then remove the objects, sorry, the drawing objects and start again. So let's start again and add it to the screen. Okay, now we can actually go through and say, okay, for high impact, I do want red. I want it solid, but I want the line thickness to be two. I don't want to show low impact and select no for that. Um, I, I do want to show medium, but I want to show it as a black line. Okay, solid again, um, thickness one. And then at the bottom here, um, you can show others, other news events and what they're gonna show. We're gonna leave that to no. Text block is that text block that I showed you at the bottom. Now it's got um, a background color. We're gonna call, we're gonna make that black. I'll show you in a minute. And the actual color, we're gonna leave it as white, okay? And then also you can decide where it wants to go, the center or bottom. Now I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Now I'm just gonna click okay. So here's the news events on a more of a white background. And you can see now that it's actually shown up a lot better. You've got the labels down here. You can just hover your mouse also over the labels and it should tell you when the news events are occurring or over the, the actual line there. 
See, I changed the background now for the text at the bottom to say um, to be black with white text. Um, and you can just hover your line. Now, the, new, the red news events, the high impact, are actually showing up as a red line. So again, I can go back to my settings. I'm just going to go to Chart Manager, Indicators, um, click on this little icon. And in here, I'm going to change my high impact to be a um, dots. I'm going to change it to be dots. And as you do it, you can see it actually change it on the chart as well. And again, down here, you've got the text block. That's the um, text block that you can see at the bottom of the chart. And you can decide where it wants to go. So that's the indicator. Um, it's created by Spotware. Now you have the full source code for this. So I'm just going to go into, actually, I'm not going to show you that one because it's got all my other stuff. But the whole idea is you can get access to the source code for this by going into C Trader Automate. So on C Trader Automate, you can actually, I am going to show you. So I'm going to go on here. Here it is. Luckily, it's on there. So this is the source code for um, C Trader Automate. And this is what you would see um, when you actually go into the Automate window. So if you did want to use this indicator for your automated trading systems, you can actually come into here, scroll down, and you've got all the code that you can access the news events and do it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, then you can actually contact us and we'll do the development work for you. Um, so just scroll down to the bottom, click on contact us, and um, we offer a development service. So if you do need to enhance this or add it to your CBOT, you can. That's it. Okay. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much.